Um, we are going to have a couple of people speak here, but I also want to thank the fire department because you guys there do you an go. awesome yeah. job. sets of pet resuscitators which are being donated to the fire departments to help help with the saving of animals lives which is also Saints mission helping to improve the lives of animals so um, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, what what happened well I'll let Donna talk about this how it all came about that Saint decided to do this and then we have a wonderful lady to introduce to you who stepped forward. Um, do you want to yeah. talk now? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Basically what I did, I wanted, I'm in, I've been with Saint for about a year, and I wanted to bring to so, the community something that can help the entire community. Bullhead, Mojave Valley, Fort Mojave. So I called the stations, find out, found out how many engines we had. Uh, Bullhead gets five, five of these units, Mojave Valley will get three, and Fort Mojave gets two. And I just found out today that not only can they use it with animals, they can also do resuscitate small children with these masks. So I didn't have any idea they could do that. <clears throat> I researched on the internet, and uh, this company here. Oh boy, no glasses. And you. Pet America. Pet America. Pet America. They uh, were very helpful. They gave instructional DVDs and uh, information for each unit that they can train on. And I'm really thrilled that we can do this for the community. As um, Donna said, this is how it all came about. And I have to tell you that this lady, Kay Rodney, Kay. and her husband, Bob, stepped up and said, we want to pay for them. Isn't that amazing? She is a huge supporter of Saint, and we appreciate you so much. Thank you, Kay. You know what? It's such a pleasure to be able to help yep. the ones who can't help themselves. Thank you so much. You're just an awesome lady. I've known this wonderful, beautiful lady for some time. Hey. Don't tell them all the secrets. I'm not. No, no. I'm not. I can't tell them anything. But she is incredible. And what she has done, she has three pets of her own. So she's an animal lover like all of us here today who care about our pets. And you know, and when we read in the paper about a fire at a home, and that there's an animal that comes from, from smoke and so forth. You just have to wonder how much that animal meant to that person. And what that, that dog or cat meant to the owners, their family. And all of us here are animal lovers, and we really care about how our pets are treated. And if there's a chance to save one of them, it's, that's, that's what counts. So I want to thank you, my darling, for everything you've done. Love you. Thank you. Come on up here. Tell us a little bit about this. And you saw the demonstration. And how does it work? What do we do? Well, when the fire department arrives on a fire, most of the time the pets are outside. So that's good. But in a case where they're not and we have to revive them, our guys treat them just like a person we would normally you have to use a, an oxygen mask that we use on a person and they don't fit, they don't stay on, they don't get the oxygen into the pet like needed. These actually, these masks they use in surgery. So the 10 year old boy back east actually started this campaign to get one of these on every fire truck across the nation. So um, we have one on our battalion chief's truck and he goes to every fire. So we have used this, one of these before. We have one set a guy donated um, a couple years ago, and you know we don't have the financial support to buy one for every truck. So this is a great opportunity to get them on every rig. So we really appreciate it. Hey, thank you very much. So we can use this for a dog, a cat, the you know, mayor. The mayor. <laughs> it works and, it, and it really works. So we appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and this is kind of, this is also a very special time because the Fourth of July, and we know all of these people are going to be very busy. So, um, and the other thing we stress to people, and we know you guys Keep know this, animals but in. pets need to be inside, away from fireworks. So hopefully yes. that comes out in the paper as well fireworks. that pets need to be protected from fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> and what? Oh yeah.
Yeah, do not leave them in hot cars, pets or children, absolutely. And anytime you do see that, that a pet is in a, left in a car alone, please call 911 to save a life. Did you want to say something, Gail? Yeah, the only thing I'd like to say is, first of all, thank you all for coming. I, I can't thank you enough. And um, for Donna's idea to do this, her research and work is how it all began. Uh, it was something she thought of, brought to a board meeting to us, and we all thought it was a wonderful idea. Um, I've known Kay, too, like the mayor, for many years, and when I said something to her about this, she did not even hesitate that said, no, I want to take care of this. So I can't thank her and her husband Steph enough for, for doing this, and it makes me feel better knowing that my dogs, if God forbid, something should happen, and um, that when they come, that they could help my animals. So it means the world to me and to everyone else, I'm sure. Um, Saint is so grateful to all of you. We are doing so much more for the community. The whole mission was to help improve the lives of animals, and this is one of those ways. Of course, spay and neuter is the biggest way, but we can do it in other ways for this community other than just that. So this was one of those that certainly will improve the lives of animals, and that's what we're all about. Um, if any of you want any more information or something, you can always call us, um, and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. It is leaving a message. We do not have someone manning phones 24 hours. We're all volunteers, so just be patient with us. And I just want to let you all know, on Saturday, I'm going to be at PetSmart from 9 to 1 with seven wonderful, beautiful dogs that are in need of loving homes. Please, if you know somebody, come by. These animals need to get into homes and get out of our boarding facility. So if you know anyone that would like to foster, um, we can help with that or just really wants to look into adopting a beautiful dog. We will be there. So thank you all so very, very much. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Right. Watch your smoking. See that Kim said it brought Walter. Yes. He was one of okay. our first adoptees. Do we have a representative? Obviously, yeah, he's fostering for good heaven.